In this video, I am going to use the four-step process to take the derivative of the function f of x equals e to the x. So step one is to find f of x plus h. So that's just e to the x plus h. Step two, f of x plus h minus f of x, which is e to the x plus h minus e to the x. Step three, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h, which is e to the x plus h minus e to the x, all divided by h. And then the fourth step, we're going to take the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. But before I take that limit, I'm going to do a little bit of work on this function. So we can first pull out an e to the x from the numerator. So that's e to the x times e to the h minus 1 over h. So now we're going to do a substitution. So this is a little trick to make this work. So let's let y equals e to the h minus 1. And let's solve for h. So e to the h equals y plus 1. Take the natural log of both sides. Then we have h equals natural log of y plus 1. Now if I think about this limit, as h goes to 0, what does y do? Well, y plus 1 had better go to, well, sorry, y plus 1 had better go to 1. Natural log of 1 is 0, so y goes to 0. So we can rewrite and look at our limit as h goes to 0 of e to the x times e to the h minus 1 over h. Well, e to the x is just a constant in this case because we're changing h. So this is e to the x times the limit as h goes to 0 of e to the h minus 1 over h, which is going to be the same as e to the x times the limit as y goes to 0 of, this is y, divided by natural log of y plus 1. And now we've got a little trick. Natural, if we have a constant times the natural log of something, that's the same as the natural log of the something to the power of the constant. So let's rewrite this as e to the x limit y goes to 0 of 1 divided by 1 over y natural log natural log of y plus 1, which is the same as e to the x limit y goes to 0, 1 over natural log of, and I'm going to turn it around, 1 plus y to the 1 over y. This limit, oops, we need to take it inside now, e to the x, 1 over natural log limit y goes to 0 1 plus y to the 1 over y and now we can recognize this limit as y goes to 0 of this quantity is just e natural log of e is just 1 and so we end up with e to the x times 1 which is just e to the x